Look, there's a big photinia. We're going to multiply that photinia shrub. Wherever the branches touch the ground, if they're there long enough, they put down roots. And they, that's called layering in the horticultural trade, I think. And uh, this photinia has put down some roots where it's touched the ground, and we're going to chop, dig those up and chop them out and plant them, and we're going to have more trees. That'll save us, what, $50 per tree, won't it? Let's have a look at where the leaves touch the ground, the uh, branches touch the ground. This is one branch from which we've already cut a uh, cut off a, a, a layer, and we can now actually bury that again next year if we want. But you'll see that wherever the branch touches the ground, they put down. This is a branch here that's touched the ground, and this is a new shrub coming up from it. So we'll cut that out, and there's another one just here too. And there's what, maybe a third or fourth one, so we've got about four or five trees possibly. And so that's what you've got. They put down roots where they touch the ground, where the branch touches the ground. You could encourage it, couldn't you? I'm going to encourage it next year. This is a free tree if we dig it up now and plant it in the cooler weather. Look how tall that one is. And there's several of them. I just lost my hat. There's several small ones. See the cable there where it touches the ground all along there. That big branch has put down roots here and there. New trees, that's a new little tree, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? A source of free trees without paying a fortune at the nursery. Let's have a look at this big tall one, how big it is. Look, that's all from one Fertinia layer. So big. Look, here we are. This is all one tree from a layer. It's just shot up from a layer, so it's a whole new brand new tree. It saves us a fortune, doesn't it? We're going to have m more and more Fertinias. Wonderful. There's about four or five there. Look at that. A whole new fatinia, that's a, a small a small one that rooted it. It had a good established root system on it. So we just dug it up and have potted it out now. And we're going to thicken up this hedge. It's excellent. Free trees. All for free. Yippee! These fatinias are really drought resistant shrubs once established. Look at those new leaves, aren't they lovely? Very tough trees they are. Very drought resistant, extremely drought resistant. Very worthwhile in the dry climate garden. Evergreen, they have white flowers in spring. And after that they have berries. Are they black or red, the berries? I'm not sure at this moment. But they're very tough and they're very beautiful. Ornamental though, poison, but a good shelter plant. And birds like to go in there. Look. So inviting for them. Dense and lovely. I'm about to dig it out and we can see where it's got some roots. There's some roots there uh, from the layered branch. We've got to cut through some thick wood, but it's still going to be a nice new tree. I hope it's got a good root ball on it. It's 
This is an excavation. I see you're taking out that smaller one. It should have some roots on it. I can hear roots tugging. Well, we've just dug up this beautiful little photinium from a layer and it's got all this huge root on it. It wasn't easy to get out, but let's hope that it has a chance now. We'll plant it immediately. We're not expert gardeners or anything, but this should make a new photinia with a bit of love and care. It should. Look at all that root. All for free too. all ready to go in. Look at those roots. Putting in another free photinia for our beautiful photinia hedge. or from a layer cutting. Some of them are going to be successful, some of them are going to take, and there's going to be a beautiful hedge along here, a beautiful evergreen hedge. Topping it up with some nice potting mix and stuff. I'm mulching it. I should get the watering can. <laughs> 